understand it's a long play. Aaron Rodgers isn't going anywhere in terms of his play yet. One of the top QBs in the league. Brett Favre, his predecessor, of course, predicting Rodgers would not end his career in a Packers uniform. Is he on to something here? Uh, I think he is. I mean, listen, I think that the Green Bay Packers, it's very difficult for me, as if I'm putting myself in the position of the Packers, to say, oh, no, they're going to, they're absolutely going to get rid of Aaron Rodgers for Jordan Love. I understand it's a long play. Aaron Rodgers isn't going anywhere in terms of his play yet. Yeah, he's 36. But he's going to play into his 40s. He said as much. Uh, he's, he's mostly healthy outside of that collarbone that he had a couple of years ago. He's still playing very well. Is he playing at the MVP level that he was in the earlier part of last decade? No, but he's still a really good quarterback, a top five quarterback in this NFL. And I just don't see where Jordan Love is going to pass him anytime soon in the next two or three years. Now, is this going to make Aaron Rodgers upset? Probably. Uh, does he have a propensity to make very passive aggressive comments without just coming out and saying how he feels and saying it with his chest? Yeah, he sure does. Does it a lot. Has been doing it a lot the last couple of years. But uh, should he be upset that he didn't get a first round weapon in terms of a running back and wide receiver? He should. I just don't see it with Jordan Love. I haven't seen it in the pre-draft process. He turns the ball over too much. You could say he's Patrick Mahomes or you could say he's a bust. Anytime you hear that, you know, I go back to Blake Bortles and everyone said, yeah, well, you know, he's big. He could be Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, he wasn't. And I just don't see it with Jordan Love. Yeah, New Orleans, by the way, uh, they're loading up in their QB room. Breeze, of course, we know he re-upped for that two-year deal. Jameis Winston now in that understudy role similar to what Bridgewater did the last couple of years. And then you got Taysom Hill, Mr. Everything.